Hello, my name is CC Neverender, and I am a speedrunner for Command and Conquer General Zero Hour. Uh, and in the speedrun, we use a lot, or we use one glitch a lot in particular, which is called the Scud Bug, um, because the Scud Bug essentially lets you use the Scud Storm super weapon, um, mount cooldown. Uh, it has infinite missiles. It doesn't, have, doesn't even have to be built before you can use it. Essentially, you just place it, and then you can automatically just start sending out unlimited scud storms. And um, it's pretty broken. And I'm going to demonstrate how to do that. Um, I don't think there's that many video guides out there. So essentially, um, there's two different types. Uh, if you're running version 1.04, which is the final patch for the game, um, it's a little different than um, this way. And I'll see if I could find a, um, a text document about that. Um, I'll put it in the description of the video. But uh, for everybody else, the easy way to do Scud Bug is essentially go ahead and build your Scud Storm or put it down. You have to assign it a troop number. So once you have it selected, hit Control 1 or whatever number you want to use. I use 1. Um, I've already set another unit to be number three. It can be any unit you want as long as it has the ability to do the control attack where it does that thing. Otherwise, don't worry about it. I've already uncovered the, uh, the map for this area. So what we're going to do is that while it's being constructed, or at any time once you've done this, you hit the number for the scud storm, then you hit shift, and the number for the unit you selected. So for me, that was one shift three. And now we're ready to roll. We're going to go ahead and we're going to drop that down right here in front of this war factory. And by doing that, our Scud Storm has just started launching missiles. Go ahead and keep an eye out on this. Don't want to miss the show here. Now just be aware that your uh, your unit that you selected is going to start attack or going to start moving to do that. So be careful with that. But we essentially just sent a scud storm, and in a second it's going to reload and it's going to resend it one more time. There you go. Yeah. Well done, General. You have reached a higher. So it's pretty ridiculous. How it can just do that. That's what we're gonna do. One shift three. Go ahead and set it here. And uh, in the run, if you ever have the opportunity to build um, multiple ones, you'll just have a slew of just ridiculous power. Okay, so we have one. I have four and five because I set my unit to three, so it's in the middle. You usually don't ever have more than four, so you don't need to have more than four, but in this case, um, what I'm going to do is one, shift three, attack, two, shift three, attack, four, shift three, attack, and five, shift three, attack. So that we start to have more vision. This area is... A warrior has fallen. And here in a second, we're going to see all the missiles are going to start falling. Well done, General. You have reached a higher rank. Hmm. I thought I put one over here. Oh, that's because number three is dead. That might be an issue. So if your unit dies, you can just select another unit and then resume. Just be aware that uh, your other unit is probably going to die if you don't pay attention. Like that. And manually take them back. Lower this jazz up. So sometimes it takes a second for them to uh, reset their position, but once they are reset, they just keep shooting missiles all day. So that is how you do the scud bug. Um, it is useful in missions China 2, China 5, and GLA 5. Um, 
I don't believe that there are any other missions that use the scud bug. Um, not off the top of my head, but there might be. Probably not though. Anyways, I hope that was helpful, helpful to you guys, and uh, hopefully that should help you out on your uh, on your speed run. So I hope to see you on the leaderboard. So take care. If you have any questions, feel free to send me a message or leave a comment, and uh, I'll get back to you.